ஸ்ரீ குருபியோம் நமக திஸ் இஸ் ஹேமலதா ஃப்ரம் பொன் வித்யாசிரம் இன் டுடே செஷன் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு மார்க் த பிளேசஸ் ஆன் மேப் விச் இஸ் கிவன் இன் சாப்டர் ஒன் அண்ட் சாப்டர் டூ ஃபார் திஸ் யூ நீட் டு இந்தியா ஃபிசிக்கல் ஆர் ரிவர் மேப் டேக் அ ஃபிசிக்கல் மேப் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வி வில் மார்க் த ஹில்ஸ் அண்ட் ரேஞ்ச் கிர்தார் ஹில் Can you find Kirtar Hill in Northwest? This is Kirtar Hill. Now write this on your map. Sulaiman Hill. Above Kirtar Hill, the Sulaiman Hill is present. Mark Sulaiman Hill there. Now Garo Hills Garo Hills are in the east side of India can you find it now mark Garo Hills now mark Vindhyas Vindhyas is in the center of India so in central India above river Narmada Vindhyas is there mark vindhyas in its place now we will mark rivers so indus and its tributaries should be marked now can you find river indus on west of india river indus and its tributaries are there mark river indus now mark its tributaries so jhelum river jhelum is there mark it then chenab mark chenab its tributary and river bees then river ravi and river satluj now these are the tributaries of river indus now locate ganga can you see ganga now write ganga at its place and mark its tributary sun below the river ganga its tributary sun has been marked Now can you find river Narmada in center of India? Mark river Narmada. And below Ganga, Yamuna is there. Can you find it? Now mark river Yamuna. Did you mark it? then now river mahanadi is there in the south east of india can you find it did you mark mahanadi on its place now we'll move on to south india now mark river godavari which is below narmada in the center of india can you find it mark river godavari below godavari krishna river flows mark river krishna after krishna mark river tungabhadra tungabhadra is below krishna now mark river kaveri so kaveri is the last river which is marked on this map mark river kaveri now at the 
right corner at the bottom of the map you can see some islands so it is Andaman and Nicobar Islands mark it Andaman and Nicobar Islands now mark Indian Ocean below Sri Lanka Indian Ocean write it now write Bay of Bengal which is in the east, east side and write Arabian Sea on the west take another map we will mark important archaeological sites now while marking these places we should mention any shape or color to indicate which place belongs to which sites so in this map shapes were used to mention place you can add colors to them as you wish but all the shapes that means if rectangle is being drawn all the rectangles must be in same color if you are marking circles all the circles should be in same color and also you should write index in the bottom of the right corner as shown here now we will mark some paleolithic sites so in this map paleolithic sites will be marked in triangle shape you can use any shape as you wish now paleolithic sites we will mark so can you find bimbetka in the central india now mark bimbetka did you mark it now mark hansgi hansgi now mark kurnool caves near hansgi so all these three are paleolithic sites now we'll mark neolithic sites so for neolithic sites square shapes have been mentioned so can you find mahergar mark mahergar which is now in pakistan did you mark it now mark barzaham it's in kashmir so after barzaham mark chirrand can you find chirran now below chirran mark koldiva can you find it koldiva on river ganga yes now mark mahagra below koldiva mahagra is there mark it now at the south india mark hallur mark hallur so below hallur payam palli is there now mark payam palli <coughs> now we will mark some megalithic sites here for megalithic sites they have given circle shape so can you find brahmagiri above payampalli now mark brahmagiri then now mark adichanallur which is in the southmost corner of india aditya nallur is there market 
finished okay good now we will mark early village so here only one early village was marked in this map it doesn't mean that only one village was existed we have lot of early villages but in this map only one is given so above hans gi inam gone is marked so it is an early village it is in diamond shape they have mentioned it so you can use any shape you want to now we'll mark modern cities we have lot of modern cities but in this map only two modern cities were given mark mumbai can you find it mark mumbai and kolkata now you have to write index at the right side corner okay mention whatever shape you have mentioned in the map okay use the shapes which mentioned in the map by you at the index the same shapes that have been marked inside the map have to be mentioned so write the index according to the shapes that you have used there now we will do some activities these activities questions i will be giving you you can do it with the help of your parents first question or first activity make a family tree stick photos of your family members and make a family tree start from your grandparents pictures so which denotes that they belongs to past past of your family now after that you can stick pictures of your parents uncle aunt whoever is there then finally the tree will end with the pictures of yours which means that you are the present second activity you are in charge of a small plot just imagine you are in charge of a small plot of a land and have to decide what food crops to grow what are the plants you would choose where would you get the seeds from how would you plant them how would you look after your plants and when would they be ready for harvesting now choose a crop how you will look after it write everything in a list now the third activity okay compare and make a list on your own compare the past and present that means compare early people and the present day people and make a list what kind of food the early people ate and food that we eat now likewise compare dress agricultural method like how the early people have done all the activities for growing crops and how we do it now that's it all these three activities take help from your parents and do it okay thank you